Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to start my presentation by wishing everyone a very happy Republic Day. Today, I'll be presenting some important information about the Indian Constitution. So let's get right into it. What is the Indian Constitution? The Indian Constitution is considered the supreme law of India. It is a framework that defines fundamental political code, structures, procedures, and more. In 1928, the All Parties Conference, a group of political parties, convened a committee in Lucknow to prepare the Constitution of India. The, Consti uh, the Constitution of India was ratified on the 26th of January, 1949, whereas it only came into effect on the 26th of January, 1950, which marked the complete Indian independence from British Crown. The preamble, the Indian Constitution con uh, contains a preamble. The preamble is a reflection of the core values that embody the Constitution. It declares India to be a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic country committed to justice, equality, and liberty for the people. Every Indian, every Indian citizen should strive to follow a set of 11 fundamental duties which are incorporated in the Indian Constitution. These are, number one, every Indian Constitution should abide by the Indian Constitution and respect its ideals and situations, the uh, national flag and the national anthem. Every Indian citizen should cherish and follow the noble ideals that inspired the national struggle for freedom. Every Indian citizen should uphold and protect the sovereignty, unity, and integrity of India. Every Indian, every Indian citizen should defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. When, and every Indian citizen should promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all people of India, transcending religious, linguistic, regional, or sectional diversities, and to renounce practices derogatory of the, to the dignity of women. Every Indian citizen should value and preserve the rich heritage of the country's composite culture. They should protect and improve the natural environment, including forests, lakes, rivers, and wildlife. And they should have a compassion for all living creatures. We should strive to develop scientific temper, humanism, and spirit of inquiry and reform. We should safeguard public property and we should look to abjure violence. Every Indian citizen should strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement. Finally, we should look to provide opportunities for education to our child's awards who are in the ages of between 6 and 14 years. Thank you for listening. Um, that was my presentation.